Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why you need to visit Ireland. Honestly, I could probably think of a million, but we don't have that kind of time. If you know me or have heard me talk about traveling at all, you know how obsessed I am with this country. Um, it was the very first foreign country I ever went to, and I think it's perfect for new or seasoned travelers. I had no idea how much I was gonna love this country until I got there, and if you want an incredible experience, you need to book your flight as soon as possible. And just as a treat for you, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite hostels in Europe, which just so happens to be in Dublin. So if you're planning a trip to the country anytime soon, you definitely wanna stay here. But more on that later. Here are my top 10 reasons why you need to get to Ireland right now. Number one, it's not a long plane ride from America. If you are someone that does not like being in a plane for a long period of time, Ireland's the perfect place to go. I traveled from Chicago to Dublin and it was supposed to be a seven hour flight. It was actually a six hour flight and it didn't even feel like that because you're on these huge planes that make you comfortable, they feed you, you get movies and games. So it did not feel like a long trip at all. It was great. So if you're someone that wants to travel but you dread being on a plane for long periods of time like I do, Ireland's the perfect place to go. Number two, they speak English there. Whether it's your first time traveling or you've been all over the world, being in a foreign country that speaks your language, it always makes it a little easier to get around and just have these experiences without being so focused on just trying to say a simple sentence. This is not me telling you to only go to English speaking countries. I think you can gain so much from being somewhere where you can't understand the language, but sometimes it's just nice. Like I said, if you're getting used to traveling, you can kind of ease your way into that experience, or it's just a nice break to not have to worry about communication and still get to travel and experience new things. Number three, it's beautiful. When we think of Ireland, we think of green, we think of rolling hills, cliffs of moor, Every inch of this country is so gorgeous. And whether you're going to find the perfect Instagram picture or just immerse yourself in nature, Ireland is one of the most gorgeous countries. And I highly suggest you go and see it for yourself because pictures will never do it justice. Number four, it's not super expensive. One of the main reasons that people don't travel as much as they want to is because of money. And while there are a lot of places in Europe especially that are very expensive, Ireland's not one of them. When I was there, I found prices to be really similar to America. And I definitely noticed a big difference when I went to London. Things were a lot more expensive there. And if you're traveling on a budget like most of us are, this is a great place to go. Number five, it's safe. Statistically speaking, Ireland is one of the safest countries on the planet. And when I was there, I was never worried or scared or felt nervous. I went out at night with friends that I met and we were walking all on the streets of Dublin and there was never a moment where I was scared for my safety. Obviously always be smart, always have your feelers out so you can be aware of everything that's happening around you. But in my experiences, I was never worried in Ireland. And maybe if you're younger and trying to convince your parents to let you travel or be okay with you traveling, tell them about Ireland and how safe it is. Google all the statistics. Obviously nowhere is completely crime free. Um, things can happen anywhere, but on the grand scheme of things, Ireland is extremely safe. No matter who you are, solo traveler, female traveler, in groups, men, whoever you are, it's always nice to have that peace of mind to know you're in a safe country and Ireland is definitely that. What's up guys, real quick, I just wanted to remind you that if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the red subscribe button. And also if you're enjoying this video, uh, feel free to give us a like. It really helps the YouTube algorithm by telling it what kind of videos you like so it knows what to recommend to you. And it also lets YouTube know which of our videos people are enjoying. So yeah, if you like this video, give it one of these. Now, let's get back to the video. Number six, the people are incredibly friendly. The Irish are some of my favorite people in the world now because I experienced 
such good people, such genuine people when I was there. And I remember going to a pub one night with a couple of travelers that I had met and we sat down next to this Irish couple and had the best night. We were there for hours. They were buying us rounds of drinks and just talking about their lives and wanting to know about our lives. And they were just genuinely so nice and so good. And it was such a fun experience because I really felt engulfed in the Irish culture. You know, I was in a pub where people are obviously drinking, there's loud music, and I have all of these Irish people around me that are genuinely happy that I'm there and happy to talk to me and welcome me. There are different places you can go around the world where maybe you don't feel as welcome or people are kind of standoffish. That is not in Ireland. Number seven, if you like road trips, Ireland is the country for you. I'll be honest. I don't like road trips. I hate being in the car, but the next time I get to Ireland, I'm renting a car and I'm covering every inch of this country. Because this is what I've been told that if you really wanna experience Ireland, you get a car and you drive around and it's magical and you see parts that you might not see on a train and you definitely see parts that you wouldn't see on a plane. So everyone says that getting a car and just driving is amazing so that is my plan as soon as I get back so if you like being in the car or even if you don't this is the perfect place to road trip number eight if you love Game of Thrones you're gonna find a lot of filming locations in Ireland Northern Ireland to be exact I believe that is where the house of Stark is if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Obviously, Game of Thrones is a phenomenon and it has taken over the world. It's also filmed all over the world, but a huge hub for their filming is in Northern Ireland. So if you want to go somewhere where you can find a lot of filming locations, this is the place to be. I'm gonna put a link in the description of an article that shows you where 11 different filming locations for Game of Thrones is in Ireland. You're welcome. Number nine. It's a small country. I think a lot of people get really overwhelmed when trying to plan travels and there are all these different places they wanna go and see and they don't have enough time. And with Ireland, you can really hit most of the major spots in just a matter of days. But if you have the time and wanna go spend a couple of weeks there, you can really cover a lot of the country and really see what it's all about and not have to freak out about not having enough time to see it. I wanna go and move there for five years, but if you only have a few days or a couple of weeks, you'll be able to cover so much ground. Number 10, you can explore your roots. Most of us have a large amount of Irish in our ancestry, obviously not everyone, but I know for me about 95% of my heritage comes from the UK. So I've obviously got deep roots in Ireland and now with things like ancestry DNA and just the internet, we're able to explore so much about who we are and be in the same country as your ancestors. And for a huge majority of us, part of that is gonna include Ireland. So go explore your roots, find out more of who you are and where you came from. So did I convince you to add this country to your bucket list? I hope so, because anyone can see how much I love Ireland, and I want you to get the same experience. As promised, I'm gonna reveal to you one of my favorite hostels. It's Jacob's Inn right in the heart of Dublin. They had pub crawls every night, a huge community kitchen where I met a lot of new friends. Um, they have privacy curtains on the bed, free breakfast, tons of entertainment for guests and you just can't beat the location. Also, a lot of you have heard me talk about the nearby fisherman's village called Hoth that I talk about in this video up here. One of the guys that worked at Jacob's Inn is the one that told me about it. It was perfect. It was one of my favorite places to stay while in Europe. And if you are planning a trip to Ireland and Dublin specifically, you've got to stay here. Today's travel related question is, do you wanna go see more of the Irish countryside or experience an awesome city like Dublin? Let me know in the comments below. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See you next time. Bye y'all.